up and y'all it's your girl team stacy and i'm back with another youtube video and if you are new to my channel hello but if you're a returning subscriber what's up my girl when it been a few hours but it felt like days only been days but it felt like months when it gone for you If you are feeling this look, let's get into it, honey. All right, my love. So let's jump right into the makeup look. So today we are starting off with a fresh face and we are going to be doing everything together. So first step is our eyebrows. I did go ahead and grab the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow because you guys know the Wet n Wild Ultimate Eyebrow Pencil has me in a chokehold. I've used it for probably a hundred makeup tutorials. However, I can say if you're not setting your eyebrows, if you end up touching your brow throughout the day, they will literally wipe off and just kind of smudge off. So with the dip brow once you apply it it kind of like dries down and it doesn't smudge off as easy and i have a long day ahead of me so we needed something that was gonna last okay so even though we're doing our little dip brow we definitely want to make sure that we don't go too heavy handed and make sure we grab that spoolie to like soften things up because we're taking a product from 2016 but we are not trying to take the brows from 2016 okay if you know you know So after we blend out our concealer, we're gonna jump into priming our face. So today we're gonna be trying out the One Size Secure the Sweat Primer. And I was super excited to try this out because you guys know I live in South Florida and things get super hot. First thing that went wrong was when I opened it, it exploded on me. I don't know why that happened, but the show must go on. So the direction told me to take a dime size amount and pat it into the skin. I did make a face when I smelled it. Wasn't crazy about the smell, but either way, it told me to let it sit for one minute. And yeah, these are gonna be the foundations that we're using. So I'm using the Soft Matte Foundation from NARS and the Face Bond Foundation from Urban Decay. Two reasons, one, paired together, these foundations have the perfect soft matte finish. I literally love the finish and it lasts for so long. Secondly, as you can see, one foundation is too light for me, one foundation it's too dark for me so when i bridge the gap it gives me my perfect summer shade okay so we're just blending this in with my elf foundation brush and so far everything is looking really good however once i got to this side i started to notice like something was off with my foundation and i just started to see that it was like peeling and just rolling up but i'm going to show you guys on my iphone a better view because it looks crazy right now can you see what i'm seeing it's like the makeup is like rolling it's like rolling off. I know. Hmm? Okay guys, so I showed you guys the clip because I feel like my phone is capturing it better. It is literally like, the makeup is like literally rolling off and separating right now. Like, I don't know what is happening. Like, I'm literally just like flicking it away. Oh my God, like my makeup is literally separating. Mm -mm. Oh no. Mm -mm. I think we're gonna have to take this off. I'm gonna have to take this off because this looks crazy. Like, mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm honestly like really sad and disappointed right now. I don't know if I just got a bad badge or what is happening, but I literally do not have time to start my makeup over. But I, if my makeup is literally falling off my face as I'm applying it, I cannot imagine what's gonna happen later and i really had high hopes for the primer because i live in south florida so it really gets really really hot and i really sweat so it's like i just needed something that was going to control it but i don't know I, I was so sad that i had to wipe it off but that the show must go on so now we're going to go ahead and take my elf power grip primer and we are going to use that old reliable she has never failed me and she's gonna come in and save the day. So we're gonna go back to the same foundations that we use, just to also show you that the, it wasn't the foundations that caused that to act weird. I don't know what happened with the product. I don't know if it was a bad batch, but yeah. Anyways, we're gonna jump into concealer. We're using the 
Hourglass Concealer. This was in my last um, video where I talked about my new favorite makeup products. I love this product. So this is super expensive though. If you want a dupe, you guys can try out the e.l.f. Camo Concealer in the Hydrate Formula. So after we concealed all my areas, I'm going to take the Juvia's Place Radiance Booster Foundation and I'm using shade 3 as my contour shade. Because I'm a little bit more tan right now because it's summer, um, the shade is not coming up as dark as I wanted it to, but it's working. Next, we're going to use the Glow with Confidence from the It Cosmetics. And this is like a blush slash bronzer. And yes, guys, I'm going to tell you guys a secret. Stay tuned. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and watch, you know, everything that's coming up. Because I just got invited to my first influencer event with It Cosmetics. And I'm so excited. You guys know I'm taking you guys with me to see the behind the scenes, to get ready with me, all the above. So, Stay tuned for that. But anyways, we're just going to go ahead and blend out my concealer. As you guys know, if you watch my videos, I always tell you guys blend out the edges of your concealer first, then work your way up. And then we're just blending everything else out as we usually do. For setting, we're going to use the Huda Beauty Setting Powder. Now, this is in shade Banana. This is my favorite setting powder as of right now. Laura Mercier had me in a chokehold. One size was really good as well for their setting powder, but Huda Beauty, baby. When I tell you I cannot put this down, I got the sample size, like the small travel size. I know I'm going to go back and get the big one. I even started purchasing it for my clients because it's that freaking good. It literally locks my face in so well. So after we set, we we're starting to bake and now we're going to go in with the iHeart Revolution blush palette and we are just going to set that blush slash bronzer so we can have some nice rosy pink cheeks and we're just going to dust away our baking powder. Next up, we're going to be taking the YSL lipstick, okay? I really like this shade. You guys know I usually go for like a brown liner nude kind of vibe, but I liked how this was like kind of like a natural pink tone. Also, we're going to be trying out the Juvia's Place Ready, Set, Sealed um, setting spray. This is a new setting spray on the market. I actually have a separate video where I do a detailed review. So if you want to know my thoughts, you guys can definitely go ahead and check that out. But this is what the face is giving, honey. We never come to play, okay? Never come to play. So if you are trying to slay like this all day long, honey, you want that face to be beat, you want to give baddie, this is the channel to subscribe to because this is all we do. Like, my girls in the comment is always going to let you know, like, we lit over here. The family is lit so make sure you guys tap in to my next videos because it's gonna get lit period all right my love so that is the end of today's video in today's video we did want to go ahead and do this glam this is my summer glam we tried a couple of new products just to see how like the finish comes together and i think that it came out very very gorgeous i really do like it i just feel like it's giving that girl okay so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video if you guys did do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up that's how i know you guys like content like this so don't forget to do that go ahead and comment down below this secret emoji that's how i know your gang and you know we is just locked in for L, okay period join the family just do it like nike by subscribing to the channel and i can't wait to see you guys in my next video bye guys